Mm -hmm. That's not bad at all. She could buy all the pie she wants with that kind of money. Hey, it was on the money for us today when it comes to our forecast. We had another warm day. Looking at our Carter Finley time lapse, we did have an increase in some clouds from time to time. All in all, though, still a beautiful day. And despite the uptick in the cloud cover that we did see, it was a warm one. We hit 82 on Monday. 83 was the high this afternoon. We have several more days of the 80s. So we've had seven days at or above average thus far this month. And we'll tack on a few more before we do see a trend back to below normal temperatures. Out there right now, not too shabby. 70 in Raleigh, upper 60s in Durham, mid 60s in Irwin, 70 in Fayetteville. So anywhere from generally the mid 60s to near 70 degrees as we are winding down our Tuesday. Looking ahead to the rest of the week, Wednesday will be another warm one, breezy and rather dry for us. No weather worries. Thursday, though, is our most active day as we track showers and thunderstorms, courtesy of our next cold front, next big weather maker. Then, as we head into Friday, it will be drier and it will be a bit cooler, but still above normal. Let's go hour by hour through your forecast tomorrow. You can see the clouds out there from time to time. It'll be another breezy day. Southwest winds will be about 10 to 20 miles an hour with highs right about where they were today. We'll be approaching the lower, maybe even some middle 80s. Now you can see the clouds on satellite and radar, but no rain to report. We did have a few isolated showers earlier this evening. The bulk of the activity is off to our west where we have several severe thunderstorm warnings, even tornado warnings there in red. Our next system System. Well, again, it arrives on Thursday, so high pressure center here off the coast still influencing our weather. Our next cold front is out to our west. It comes knocking on the door coming into Thursday. Until then, we'll be breezy and we will be warm. So let's walk through future cast together. We'll clear out some clouds overnight, mostly sunny to start tomorrow, increasing some clouds from time to time. So intervals of clouds and sun, but still dry. Mostly cloudy as we head into Wednesday night. Quiet start to Thursday, but as that front gets closer, that's when we begin to see those scattered. Showers and storms will stop the clock here about four o'clock entering our western county. So, again, line of showers and storms will continue to progress throughout central North Carolina as we head throughout the evening hours before we'll begin to dry things out as we head into Friday. Could see an isolated, stronger storm. That's where we have a marginal risk one out of five on the scale for Thursday afternoon and evening, with my main concern being damaging wind. Behind the front, check this out. So 80s through Thursday, then we're back in the 70s, and then 70 for Easter Sunday. So a quick check of your Easter forecast. Again, a hoppy Easter, and it'll be excellent. Partly cloudy and cooler with those highs right around 70. Tomorrow, no 70s, mid 80s for the Sand Hills temperatures, mid 80s for the coastal plain, mid 80s even in the triangle, low 80s along the North Carolina Virginia state line. Extended forecast, you can see overnight lows will be mild, those 80s through Thursday, but a bit unsettled for Thursday. Day. Then heading into Passover on Friday, drying out and a bit cooler. And a quick check of your extended forecast. Again, looks pretty good for Easter weekend. Next front will move in as we head into Thursday or Monday, I should say. Then we'll see some scattered showers. And then we're back in the 60s. But all in all, guys, I think I'll take it for Easter. Yes, indeed. It's